are YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, we're going to have a look at, uh, let's get a picture on it, around here somewhere for you, nice close up. Uh, the new Flysky INR4 GYB, and this is one of the receivers that I think I've seen requested most times for the Noble Pro and the MB4. So, <clears throat> this is Flysky's new enhanced gyro receiver and i know plenty of people have been screaming out for this for a long time it's a four channel receiver it's got dvb built in it's got a gyro built in so let's uh let's crack it open and see how it stacks up right so i'll do my best to keep all this in shot for you um this is a really interesting little uh receiver because it's not just going to behave as a gyro for your steering but it'll also change your throttle inputs as well um, which is obviously one step more than what a normal gyro and that's what makes it full vehicle stability control so just for ease of uh, seeing what's happening with this i'm going to be powering it from a external lipo instead of an esc and i'm going to use two receivers the blue one will represent a steering the black one is going to represent as throttle so we're going to want to plug our steering the blue servo into channel one so they are one to four and then the bvd at the top um, with this being an enhanced receiver you can also run ibus s bus and sensors and your negative is to the left, your signal wire is to the right. So we're going to set them like that. Then what we're going to do is jump across to the, in this case, it's the Noble Pro. So you're going to want to go to model. You're going to want to set your channel definitions to four. And you're going to want to give it a name. So I'll just call it INR4. Seems though that's what it is. Uh, I suppose we could add GYB because that's also what it is. Right, once we've got this set up, you're then going to go to RX set, bind set, make sure enhance selected and start bind. You're then going to hold the little purple bind button. And I much appreciate these rather than the bind plugs. And then supply power. And then it's bound up. Now what we're going to have to do is set up our Noble Pro. So we're going to drop out of that. <laughs> we're going to go into assignment. Now entirely up to you which ones of these you want to set up. So I'm going to first off go for TR3. And then we're going to scroll down. And I'm going to set this one to... Um, vehicle stability control on the steering gain so SVC steering gain and I'm going to leave it normal direction two step you can change them as you like then I'm going to go for the next variable one and I'm going to scroll down and again we're going to go to SVC throttle gain this time Then one of the switches on the actual uh, handle, I'm going to go in here, take it off channel 4, and we're going to go smart vehicle control. So basically what this is allowing us to do, we've got a dial to set the smart vehicle control on or off. We've got the gain control of the throttle and the gain control of your steering. So you're not having to go into menus to uh, change all this and I believe also you can set one I think there's a further one you can set to a variable dial so if we come up and set this top one uh, do, 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 do. let's have a look So, I think we can set that one to priority. Beep. 
So if we now go across to a stability control, so what you're going to want to do is first off, make sure your throttle and your steering works. Then when we turn this on, so we've got this turned on now, you can see that as priority changes depending on position, that I would fit the fully variable dial, but you've got on the top adjuster, you've got your steering sensitivity, on your bottom one, the throttle sensitivity. And then you've got ESP mode. Normal should mean it'll work all the time. So if we move gyro of that, it's going to try and calibrate all the time. Lock, it should be more sort of head in lock mode. So although it will try and keep the car straight, it's not going to behave the same as what uh, normal does. Normal will behave much more like what you'd expect from a normal gyro. You're going to have to play around with that setting because it's a bit like a heading lock setting. So it's, it's going to behave differently, but you're going to have to try that to see which one you prefer and what you're looking for. So basically... What reverse does, if we move this to left, you'll see which way the servo twitches. So if you reverse it, it should then go the opposite way. So you just use that to make sure that it's, it's counteracting in the right way to what your steering wants to be. Then we've got a sensitivity. So if we turn throttle sensitivity up, Let's see where, where we need it for it to make enough difference for you to see. So basically you can see the throttle servo is now twitching around all over. <laughs> so you can see it's interacting with throttle as well as just the steering. And you can set these gains as high or low as you want just by using these two. So you can, you can turn the sensitivity at steering right down, you can turn the sensitivity at throttle right down, depending on how you want the RC to actually drive. Or you can press this button, and that will turn it off completely. So it's now just behaving as a normal receiver. Press it again, and you get your stability control. Um, to calibrate the gyro, which I would do when you first fit it in your RC, so it tells you to keep the vehicle completely stationary. And it does take a few seconds or so to run through that. But basically, you'll see the light flashes and then it'll tell you it's calibrated. But hopefully that gives you some idea of just how powerful this little uh, receiver gyro is. And you've still got the same functionality as the other enhanced receivers. So we can go servo frequency. You can set them all separate. You can set them all together. So you've still got all the functionality of that. And you can also use the iBus. And you can also use the supplied external voltage monitor. Plug it in the top port. And that can monitor LiPos. So yeah, quite an impressive little thing, but let's wrap this one up. Right, so there you have it. The INR4 GYB Gyro Vehicle Stability Control Receiver from Flysky. Um, you do get some uh, really funky stickers, which, let's face it, we all like really funky stickers. So we do get the stickers with it. You do get the external BVD. I will get the acronym right. Battery voltage detection, I think it is. Uh, monitor cable with it. It's an enhanced receiver. It's waterproof or it's got an IPX rating. Um, nice antenna. And really glad that they've chose this form factor for the, uh, for the first gyro receiver. Shut up controller. 
um because i know a lot of a lot of you guys have been asking for this and i'm really glad they brought it out as full vehicle stability control with throttle input if you want as well um because yeah you can fit an external gyro but i mean this puts it right up there with any of the other sort of i know some people are coming away from traxxas or armor and they're worried that they're going to lose the stability control well with this one you've got full stability not just a steering gyro um the priority setting that you noticed on the gyro what that's for if you've got settings between zero and 100 if you have it on zero then the gyro for the steering gets the most input so you'd have a, sort of a bigger turning radius because it'd be fighting you more to keep the vehicle straight and if you put it all the way up to 100 you'll have the tightest turning circle and the least input it basically it's it's the way you choose whether you are the priority on the position you're moving the steering or the gyro gets priority over what it's doing with steering so it's one that you'll have to play about with a little bit it will work on both the nb4 and the pro so if you want to see a video of me setting up on mb4 it's exactly the same but if you want to see it i'll do it do anything for you guys um we've got the instructions and it does give you a good description of um what all the settings do um but following my guide on how i've set it up on this at least you can see what dials you could set it to to control stuff um the chances are once you've got it set up you might not bother adjusting it that much but it's nice to just be able to have a button to turn it on and off completely um definitely nice that you can control it all um because we all best will in the world if you've got an external gyro you usually just have control at gain and to instantly turn it off you'd have to wipe gain all the way down whereas with this it's just one click of a button all gain and um, all gyro effect is turned off but enough of my incessant ramblings i will get this set up in a car at some point because i'm excited to see how good it actually is or whether i rate it compared to kind of a spec um Traxxas setup because we've had quite a few cars that have run the Traxxas set up and it does work quite well in them I think with Traxxas it's mainly hampered by the slow servo so as you try and go faster the servo can't keep up but uh, we'll definitely get it set up in a car maybe one or two just to try it see what it's like but thanks again for watching WTFRC cars don't forget if you like this kind of content like and subscribe share to friends and family hit the notification bell and i'll catch you guys again in the next one